Cleopatra, she is a killer. She's a warrior, really. She's doing everything, more than 100%. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. Oh, Cleopatra, splash ya. She's very kind, she's very passionate. Yeah, she is the best sister, she's the best basketball player. She got so much sauce, she'll give you heartburn. Ooh. She is a friend and a sister for everybody, her friends, her teammates. Oh, did you see that pass though? She's very supportive, even in some of the basketball I'm playing. <laughs> she is everywhere like internet. She's the most talented, caring, funny friends that I've ever had. I love basketball. Basketball is life for me. I can't imagine my life without basketball. I think when, when you give a sport or anything 100%, it gives you back 200%. So basketball chooses me, not me chooses basketball. <laughs> I was born in 1995. I was born in Cairo. I started basketball when I was like eight years old. I started 20 years ago. I played like swimming, tennis, until I found myself in basketball. I was doing so many tricks and so many plays in basketball that my mother and my father, they were watching me all the time and they were telling me that you're unique, you're special. I found the talent in myself. She challenges herself every time she play. She's unique, doing some tricks. I have not seen no look pass. She has some crazy passes in her, I'll tell you that. She's a gifted player, man. I love watching Soraya. Besides, she's my wife. She's very entertaining to watch. She had that no look pass, and she's doing that, and she's doing that here in Egypt. Not so many people can do this. Soraya is different. You love to watch her. I play like eight hours daily. I practice, I do everything in the court. When the coach told me to do anything, I do it like immediately. She understands and she got what you say, maybe before you said it. Sometimes I tell her uh, something and she said, coach, we can do this from this way better. If you coach player like Soraya, you have to be smart enough to work with her. So she know a lot, she have uh, a lot of skills. She can read the game. So you have to, to be on the same level, how she think, how she acts. And you expect that and you help her to do best. So it's not easy for coach to have this. She's coaching her uh, teammates, which is very impressive for me to, to have like a player like her in the team. Yani. I think the team is lucky to have her, yeah. A smart player, a fast player, a sniper, can shoot the ball anytime, as fast as you think about it. A lot of skills, she can handle the ball, dribble the ball, change direction anywhere, finish inside, outside. It's like a player, she's, she's awesome. On the court, she's something else. She's very focused on the game. She wants to win. She's very competitive. But off the court, she's really funny. She jokes all around. So she's a completely different person on and off the court. Three x three. It's the most interesting and exciting game ever. In 2018, it was my first tournament. You don't know anything about 3x3, the rules, anything. So the Federation called us and you're going to a tournament, the Africa Cup qualifiers. And we won, we took the first place, so we're qualified to the African Championship. I was so happy for it because I want to do some more for the 3x3. When I played in 2019, it was my best year ever. I played the African Championship in Uganda. and we won the African Championship. We were like three players only. We don't have a sub.
my best and my first memory ever that I'll never forget is being named the MVP in Africa. It was a dream for me. I didn't know what was MVP like. It made me feel so proud of her. She played really well this tournament. I wasn't with her in that championship, but I was watching her and she did great and I was very, very proud of her. From here, I fell in love with the 3x3 and then the FIBA posted the video for me. Thousands of people want to follow me. From where did you get me? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only in Egypt and now I'm in Uganda, so no one knows me. You know, like in Egypt here, we have like the sport number one is the football. Basketball here is not that popular, but I think social media is is what changed everything. When social media like posts something to a player who's, who's not playing football and a woman, that what makes the player popular. When she became famous and popular, this was my first time I've seen even my friends saying that they have watched the basketball match through FIBA. I got confused. How do you know her? She is popular to me, but not popular to everyone like this. This was a very good feeling for me. After she became the top 10 in three on three, she became very, very, very famous. Then everything escalated quickly. Everyone in the street, Rami Malik, Rami Malik. <laughs> when you guys posted on FIBA that move over Cleopatra, we have a new queen, all the people came, you're Cleopatra, you're Cleopatra. I said, yes, hi. <laughs> When I go with my husband in any place, in a mall or something, and someone tell my husband, uh, can you take this uh, photo with, uh, with her? They don't know that he's my husband, but, but he's so supportive and he takes them <laughs> the photo. May I take a picture? May I take a picture? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm a teacher right now and the students, they told me, how can we find you on Google? How can you find you on Facebook and on Instagram? And your account is uh, verified how? This is not you. No, it's me. I have two brothers. Me and my, my older brother we weren't that close when we were so young. And then we, when he got married, we then become closer. For sure, we fight <laughs> a lot, <laughs> maybe twice a week or something, but we end up having the best relationship together after all these fights. I've been married for like one, one year and a half and I moved to another apartment. So I miss my family, I miss my father, I miss my mother, I miss everything, even the fights, even the fights we had before, I miss, I miss it so much. Maybe these fights makes us more uh, closer to each other. This is the best thing about uh, fights. <laughs>
I feel like I am the one who took the trophy. I am the one who took the MVP. Even if I'm playing basketball, she's playing basketball, I'm supporting her 100%. He's my biggest fan, <laughs> yes, he and my family. <laughs> so uh, if my mother heard this, she would be angry because she's my biggest fan. <laughs> Even if I'm too excited, the inside I can have poker face here. So I'm sitting like this until the referee blows. Have a hug. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we just want to share life together. I'm sharing with him my sports life and my social life. She's having uh, tournaments, she's traveling too much, but when she's here, it's home. I just want to tell him that uh, I love you so much and uh, you're everything to me. Actually, 2021 was the hardest year ever for me. When I tore my ACL, it was an accident, it wasn't like a player who got injured in a game, no. I was finishing a layup and then someone kicked me from the behind in my knee. Her head was in my knee, so like I twisted and then fell on the ground and then I was screaming. I didn't know what happened, like I think my knee like twisted 180 degrees. I was like 20 minutes on the ground. My husband, he come to me and I was like, where is my knee? I just want to see my knee. I, I cannot, I cannot touch it. I cannot, and it was like, it had a balloon on it. When I got home, I cannot walk. I cannot do anything. I cannot perform anything. I went to the doctor and he touched my knee. He did the test and he said, okay, we have an ACL and MCL and everything was torn in my, in my knee. All my friends and all my family were sitting with me. They were supporting me, they were telling me and all the social media, speedy recovery, we're waiting for you. But I was crying all day and night and I don't want my family to see me crying. I don't want to be like weak in front of anyone. So when I cry, I cry with myself in my room. She is trying her best not to show her emotions in front of us. She wants every time someone looks or sees her to see the best version of her and not to see her crying or disappointed. Maybe this is the best trait about being a champion. Yeah. And then when I did the surgery, it was like nine months journey of returning back from tearing the ACL. I changed my whole life routine. I went to the gym, I became more fit, I ate healthy food, just to get back quickly and get back stronger. When I started walking, I was like, I'm walking right now, but I cannot twist. When it was my first time to go to the court again and dribbling, I cannot imagine myself doing it again. When I made my first shot, I shot the three points and I scored it. My coach was with me, uh, he saw me, he told me that you're getting back better than before. When you have like something uh, that stopped you from doing anything, if you focus on doing it 100%, you will get back like, like you have never fall. I'm wearing the hijab for like 13 years, so the hijab doesn't stop me from doing anything. As a Muslim player, I feel myself special. I feel myself unique. At the end, it's the relationship between me and my God. When I go to any tournament or any championship, when they say, go guard number eight who's wearing the hijab, even if they do not know my name, I'm taking it from the bright side. When the young players see me wearing the hijab as a public figure or as their idol, I think they're gonna do the same like me. <laughs> She has a lot of role players and all the younger basketball players want to be like her, so it's very, very nice. When someone called me like I'm their idol, I'm so happy and I'm so proud of myself. When I had the speech with the players, 
The coach told me that um, you have to tell the players that you did this by your own. You trained so much, you practiced so much. You need to tell them in order to be great or something, you need to train hard. You need to give like 100% of what you have. You need to sacrifice so many things just to practice. Everything I learned, I want to give it to the next generation in order to be good. I'm so lucky to be playing in Egypt, in the national team. I just want to write history to my country. I just want to be remembered that Soraya Muhammad was the best in Egypt. So it's something great for me if this happens.